some days when uh, it's really hard for me to get out of bed. There's some days when I think, you know, I just, I just don't want to go on with the things that I have to do. And I, I know it doesn't matter whether you live in Toronto, where I live. It doesn't matter whether you live in Saskatoon, where Aunt Jeanette lives. Um, or you live here. This illness called depression or anxiety is the same everywhere. It doesn't matter what language you speak. It doesn't matter how long you have been on this land. We all suffer the same sorts of things. So what I do um, is try to go around to schools and talk about this because the only way ever to get better is to talk about it. And you played on a team, and you played on teams your whole life. Did anybody ever talk about uh, the kinds of things we're talking about now? Initially, no. Um, I feel like for those who play sports or are competitive at all, and, and even if it's in gym or, or playing outside on, on uh, your field of play, um, you know, you always have this feeling and this mantra where you, you're tough and, uh, you know, nothing's going to knock you down. And, um, you know, as a kid growing up, you know, playing hockey, we were taught, you know, if you block a puck with your foot and it hurts, you know, shake it off, get back out there, you're fine. And so you have this notion where you just shake it off, forget about it, get back out there, and you're fine. And um, I think for whatever reason, that mentality and that thought process bled over into mental health as well, which is completely wrong, and it's, it's not right yeah, at that's all. That's a good question, because in football, I've never, I've never had a teammate that's come up to me and tried to explain to me that he's had dealt with depression or anxiety or any mental illness. Um, but you said something yesterday, actually, that stuck with me, and maybe it will help you guys. Uh, he kind of explained how sick, not weak is, is the tagline, right? Sick, not weak. And he explained how if you have a cold or a runny nose, you're sick, and you can see it. If you have a, a mental illness, you can't see that. But it's, it's the same thing. You can't just say, I don't want to be sick anymore. I don't want this runny nose, and it goes away. is that there's a, a future, you like it, uh, working with us, uh, some might like that, some might not, you all have your dreams, everybody needs a dream, but uh, they say stay in school, stick with the sciences, the maths, that's what you need, I'm glad to hear you're going to uh, the universities, uh, we, need, we need a lot more of that, but if you're at all interested, there's a future for you, and just remember that, there's uh, 
you're important to us, every one of you, and I look at the girls especially. We need you, we need you uh, to really step up. Uh, we want lots of girls to work for us, doctors and <coughs> environmental scientists and engineers. That's what we need. So 